I still do my early morning chores um, but it's nice this morning because the sun's out and that house looks stunning I think that's the most photographed house that I've seen now there's a place at Norton Junction further up the uh, Grand Union the house that's in the, like an island. And I, I kind of described it as an idyllic house with issues. And the issues are not to do with the house, but they're to do with how you get stuff on the house, how you, how you live. But that house, people walk by. Hello, mate. And, and it doesn't matter what age group either, the demographic, there's, there's kids, you know, like, like grumpy teenagers, he says. The grumpy teenagers walk by and everybody looks at that house. Older people, the grey pound, and they take photos with the phones or, or come by just to take photos of it. That is an idyllic house utterly utterly gorgeous and it depicts Berkey on the Grand thanks for coming down again Paul it's funny I walked along there I was looking at the boats and straight away you could tell your boat why is that all polished up look at that all Polished up, not a spot of dirt on it. You have so you've got one, two, three, four grasses all cleaned up, immaculate, I must say. So what? What's under the? Is it just? I mean, what's under there? The what's that called? A rubber ring thing. Is that for other people? Yeah, generally speaking, yeah. And what's underneath it? Mushroom vent. What, what, what are you doing? Whoa, 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 what were you doing? <laughs> what's, in, what's underneath that? Mushroom vent. <laughs> Do you know that um, standard sink? The standard, what is it? The standard you walk past to the stand. What's that? I don't know. No, come on, you do know. No, I don't. You do, because you used to tell all your students about standards all the time. Yeah. So what is it? The, the standard you... The standards you walk by is the standards you maintain. That one? What's, what? What's like that stuff? Oh, look, it's coming off. Well, no one can see it. I saw it. You didn't see it. I did. I said what's in today, then I Thanks for that, Paul. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna try. I've missed. I didn't. I'm not gonna go there. I've only gone and done it again, and I. I have gone and lost my glasses. So um, I've had enough. I have. I've had enough where I just now need to um, go into town and get a bit of string to go around the glasses. Um, I've lost them for a couple of days now and I'm... I just don't know. I have got all of that out in there. But why Why would the glasses be in there, I hear you say. I don't know. And this is this is the desperation that I'm in. I have looked in there just looked in there I've looked behind there and I look again oh there's my hat I just don't know I, I am floundering I found I found by the way my um, puncture repair kit behind the sofa don't ask because I don't know I really don't know 
I've had the duvet, but I'm, I know it's not there because I changed the bedding yesterday. So I've had the bedding out. And I just, I am at wit's end. And it, it's so frustrating. But it does appear, it does appear that so many people on the last comments on, on you know, how frustrated I was, it's a normal thing. I don't know. I just, I just don't know. nightmare totem pole there look for some reason it is very humid and it's raining but the rain doesn't seem to be doing much good at the moment it needs to do a lot more of that to clear the air oh yeah you all right oh you all right how you doing i'm good what are you up to you don't know you're never no I've been searching all morning. Alright, okay, are you coming well, in or are you going? Uh, no, I'll come in for a bit. Come on. More importantly, <laughs> now I've found my glass, well, after Janine nicked them, I, I've got that st string around my neck. I'll never lose them again, he says until next time. When I got my glasses cord, I had a trip into Burkhamsted and found this beautiful, quirky mm, shop. I, I think it was just lovely. It's the sort of furniture I used to have in the house and me and, and the wife at the time, we used to browse around shops like this. Loved it. Loved that old chair and the bathtub. Not so sure about the plant in it. Lovely. Plasticus Planticus flowers. You can see my dirty knees in that mirror look. Ooh. Full of quirky things. Love that chair. Absolutely love it. I'm not sure if it's a garden chair or a chair I might sit indoors with. And I had a look at some of the art. Used to collect art. You know, not, not the Van Goghy type, you know, just from artists. Some pillows I considered. Also considered some smelly things. But that's all I did was consider. Just love poking around shops like this though. There used to be a cafe on the top floor, but apparently there's 52 coffee eating establishments in Burkhampstead. I do like that, some of those jackets as well. Those of you that watched the vlog some time ago now about narrow boat life is doing me in because I'd lost my puncture repair outfit. I found it. I also mentioned I wanted some punctures because I bought some more puncture repair outfit. I don't want any more punctures because I haven't got, you know, I've got about the right amount of stuff now. So the hand of fate, if you think I want more punctures, disregard. 
No. Oh, why didn't I mark it? I know, but I haven't got any of that, that marky stuff. Chalk, I think they call it. Or crayon or whatever. I don't know. Waiting for the Barrowshire guy to turn up. When I was at Crick, I went across to the Barrowshire tent and I says to him, my alternator belt squeaks a bit. He goes, oh, does it? He said, when does that happen? I said, well, it happens at the start, which is normal. But at the same time, it kind of happens all the time. And he said, oh, it might be your alternators are a bit misaligned. So I said, well, before the old um, warranty runs out, do you mind coming down to have a look at the boat? He goes, yeah, fine. So the Barrowshire guy is coming down to have a look at my engine to make sure that it's in tip top condition prior to the years running out prior to my my year anniversary which is next week so i couldn't have planned it any better really fixed Tie wrapping that that lever thing so it doesn't move an idea from a commenter thanks for that i can't remember who it was but thanks for commenting i do learn from your comments to be honest John from Switzerland uh, was in the UK, so he popped by to have a chat with me. That was nice. It reminds of him. me of the River Rhine. You wouldn't yes, get in I there think, either. I think the Rhine is is was better than this. Come on, he needs encouragement to jump in. Oh, is it not? Oh, just going in today. I'm just doing it. <laughs> oh my! He's going for a charity swim. Oh, oh Yeah, to get that plastic lid off his off his. Oh. Is this a trial run? Oh, it's freezing in here. Oh, well, well, oh I'll be. Ralph, yeah, we're going no Did a Wim Hof. Big breather. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Taking your breath away. Oh. 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 I'll tell you what, he's doing something to me. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Done it. Easy. To buy another box is eight quid. You save me. It's an eight quid swim. Eight quid swim. Oh, to save a couple of quid. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Another year than me. I'll oh, tell you what. I can't even imagine that. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's getting out uh, because there's stingers and everything. Oh, there. <laughs> the boats kind of look we've got that there all the the lights and the ambiance that uh, and that and so the ambiance is here and we're gonna see what the tarot 
I don't, I don't know. We're going to see what it does. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle the cards and put my energy in. And the cards are very big. So. And then I want you to shuffle them to put your energy in as well. Is that all right? Well, I don't know, because you're looking uh, yeah, at Yeah, I'm looking at It's all right. Shuffle them. <coughs> shuffle them. And uh, give it some energy. Yeah. They are big. Yeah. They are big, aren't they? Trait, yeah. <laughs> I hope they say, the cards say, you will have new knees. <laughs> Here we go, they're not that specific okay. you might have to start further over this side because there's quite a lot of them yeah of course I would <laughs> there you go there you go that's it you've got to expose each one because you're going to close your eyes yeah. and feel no you're not 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 actually on them, like about two inches above them. You're going to feel, just feel the energy. And then you're going to pick out three cards. Don't turn them over, though. Marvellous. Accept the vital part that you play in the bigger scheme of life. What, what does that mean? Well, that's so generalistic, it could mean exactly. absolutely anything. You've got, this is this is the stuff that has already happened to you. Oh, well, which so, case, well, wasted, yeah, so, it? so it's quite fitting, because it's saying you, you've uh, achieved a lot in your past and now you, you're in a good place now, you're ready, you're prepared for the future. When properly aligned, your crown chakra will expand... <laughs> That means absolutely <laughs> nothing to me at all. Awareness. This card is one of the key reminders that you already possess all of the tools to guide and direct you in your life. Whether it's wisdom, intuition, psychic skill, creativity, self-motivation, love, willpower, physical ability, or just pure courage. They're all part of you. Right, I'm not even going to carry on reading that. It's like your stars you read on the paper. It's like... Everything's great. Everything's going to be working out for you. Yeah, and all you have to do is, you know, tune into the universe and all good things will come to you. And I just... I don't... I don't believe it. The alternator wasn't misaligned, it was just, he timed it up a bit. Now it's a, a nuts whisker, um, but he did say next time you buy an alternator belt is to try and buy one a size smaller. He said it'd be a bit harder to get on the, um, the alternator. Uh, and it's a self-adjusting alternator. It's a bit, bit harder to get on, but it should stop the squeaking. Uh, that said, he stopped the squeaking by putting a new alternator belt on. The size for the engine. So it, it's probably one of those things that um, I just have to maintain at a more regular basis. Um, but that said, I thought it was great service by Barrishire to um, come out and give my engine a quick once over, a quick check over, just to make sure everything's ticking along. And um, by all accounts, it's good. Janine's boat, I think, is a very homely boat. And I'm, uh, someone's asked if we could do a walkthrough of Janine's boat. Well, probably not. I, maybe later. I think Janine's gonna start a YouTube channel um, one to look out for in the very near future and when she does start it clearly um, you know those are those of you who want to watch it will clearly subscribe and and like and and do all the the good stuff and help Janine along her way well, I think she's gonna out outdo me that totem pole in Burkhamsted I've um, checked through the Burkhamsted website the Chiltern Holidays website 
as well as Mr. Wikipedia. It says, and it doesn't kind of make sense to me at least, the genuine Canadian totem pole is located to, next to the Grand Union Canal in Berkhamsted, commissioned by William John Aylesford from the Canadian First Nations artist, Henry Hunt. As a thank you to the Vancouver Island locals for saving his brother, it was erected in 1968 and stands a whopping nine metres tall, made of western red cedar as one of the few totem poles that can be seen in the UK. Well, there we go. So it, it is there for a reason. I'm not sure whether it's um, commissioned by William John Aylesford because Henry Hunt wanted to say thank you to the people of Vancouver Island for saving his brother. I, I think that's the case, but I'm not quite sure. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, those of you that have, and if you haven't subscribed, well give it a go, it's free, and it helps me out with the algorithm, and helps me gain a little bit further reach of YouTube land, if there is such a thing. Uh, but until next week, and next week is a goodie by the way, ciao papa!